Saint Abanub or Abanub al Nahisi, Coptic is a 4th century Christian saint and martyr from Egypt. His name means father of gold in Coptic. He was born in Nahisa in the Nile Delta to Christian parents. Abanub was 12 years old when he was killed and beheaded, after being tortured for refusing to leave Christianity. His feast day is July 31. His relics are preserved in St. Virgin Mary and St. Abanub churches in Sabenitos, Egypt. His title is often the child martyr. Topic. Story of the holy martyr Saint Abanub Topic. Saint Abanub was born in the city of Nahisa district of Talca. He was the only son of parents who reared him in the fear of God. They died when Abanub was a young child. At age 12, Abanub entered the church to hear the priest asking the congregation to remain faithful during the persecutions provoked by Diocletian, the Roman emperor. Abanub received the holy sacraments, then he prayed to God to guide him to where he could confess his faith in Jesus, he returned to his house, and straight away he rose up, and gave all the gold, silver, and apparel his father had left him to the poor and needy, then went to Samanode, walking along the river bank. On the way, he had a vision of the archangel Michael, who told him that he would suffer at Samanode. He confessed the name of the Lord Christ before Lucianus the governor. Abanub also insulted Lucianus's idols such that the governor ruler became furious and gave orders that the child be whipped. The soldiers beat Abanub severely, but the archangel Michael miraculously healed him. On the following day, the governor took Abanub on a boat to a city called Athribis, and as a form of punishment, the young saint was hung upside down from the mast. The soldiers, along with their ruler, began to drink and dance, while hitting Abanub on the mouth. Abanub S nose bled, but then, unexpectedly, the soldiers became blind and the ruler paralyzed. The soldiers cried to Abanub to pray for them and promised to become Christians. Saint Abanub replied, This will only happen in Athribis, so that everyone there should know that there is no other God but Christ. The angel of the Lord came down from heaven, released the saint, and wiped up the blood that was running down from his nose and mouth. Strong winds brought them swiftly to Athribis. When they arrived in Athribis, the soldiers were healed, and they cast their uniforms in front of the ruler of Athribis. The governor became infuriated and ordered that they all be killed. The governor of Athribis tortured Abanub severely, then sent him to the city of Alexandria. There he was tortured until he delivered up his soul and received the crown of martyrdom. Saint Julius L. Akfasi, who wrote the biography of Saint Abanub, was present. He took Abanub's body and sent it with some of his men to Abanub's hometown, Nahisa. Veneration In 960 AD, Saint Abanub's body was transferred to Saint Virgin Mary Church in Samanode. Many churches were built in his name. Many signs and miracles were manifested from his body which is now located in his church in the city of Samnanode. His feast day is July 31 References, <references>